Welcome to PT Dance Educational Videos. Today we're going to be doing a really important video on the bench press and it incorporates um, the fixator muscle. Uh, what it is, uh, how we can use it to our advantage and how we can stimulate this muscle to produce more force. So here we have a little picture of the belly of the muscle tissue and this is the primary muscle that we're going to be talking about here. On both sides of the muscle tissue you'll find two tendons. So muscle tissue is attached to tendons and that tendon is attached to a bone. A muscle tissue is always attached to two bones. So this is what produces force. When a muscle tissue contracts, the muscle tissue pulls the tendon, the tendon that's attached to the bone moves the bone and this is what creates movement. Let's take for example the primary muscle called the bicep brachii. If this muscle is a bicep, one side of the bone will be the scapula, the tendon goes through the shoulder joint, the bicep muscle runs down your upper arm and attaches into your radius which is the outside bone of your forearm when your palms are facing up. When this primary muscle contracts, so when your bicep contracts, this muscle pulls on both tendons with equal force. So the question is, when the muscle such as a bicep pulls on both bones with even force, why is it that one bone moves but the other one doesn't? So what we just discovered is that when your primary muscle, in this case your bicep brachii, pulls on your scapula in your back through your shoulder joint and your radius at the same time, why is it that your radius bone moves but your scapula in your back stays still? It's because we have a muscle called a fixator muscle which does an isometric contraction or a static contraction that holds onto the bone where your muscle has its point of origin. So in this case, your bicep is attached to your radius and it's attached to your scapula. And basically, this muscle just contracts and holds onto your scapula, preventing your scapula from moving. That's what we call a fixator muscle. So in every contraction, in every um, weight that we lift, there are actually multiple muscles working. There's one muscle pulling, the primary muscle in the exercise that's pulling the bone that we want to move, uh, that's creating movement and tension for the primary muscle. And there's another muscle contracting that holds on to this muscle's other bone that's attached to, making sure that that bone doesn't move. Hence the reason that in every single muscular contraction, the belly of the muscle tissue pulls on one bone just as much as the other, but only one bone moves. And that's because there's another muscle holding onto the other bone, making sure it doesn't move. And that's what we call a fixator muscle. So as you can see that when the bicep contracts, it pulls on both the scapula and the radius with even tension. But the re reason why the radius moves and the bicep does not pull the scapula and the scapula does not move is because the trapezius is contracting on the opposite side of the bicep with even force so that the scapula doesn't move. So the bicep is pulling it on one side, the scapula is pulling it on the other side, and the scapula remains still. And that's how when the bicep contracts, your arm moves, but your back doesn't. Now that we've understood and we now understand what a fixator muscle is, now we can go through and talk about what the fixator muscle is with the bench press. Um, you've just seen some great examples of the fixator muscle using the bicep and how it pulls on the radius and how the scapula doesn't move because the traps are contracting creating equal force. Um, so now we're going to be talking about something a little bit more complex. What's the fixator muscle in the bench press? So let's have a look at the anatomy of the chest. The chest point of origin starts with your um, clavicle at the top, your sternum and your rib cage. Uh, it, the chest now travels across the shoulder joint into the top of the humerus. And when it contracts, it causes uh, horizontal flexion. 
So what we're going to be talking about now is um, what the fixator muscle is. Well, if the pec major and the chest muscle is attached to your sternum and your rib cage, then when your body applies force, it's going to be pulling on the humerus. And if you notice that the humerus bone moves when you do a chest press. So if the humerus bone moves um, and the chest is pulling on the humerus, then what, why doesn't the sternum or the rib cage move? And the simple reason is that your abs, your abdominal muscles is your fixator muscle. Your abs are contracting so much during a chest press uh, or a bench press because your abs contract holding onto your rib cage and your sternum preventing it from moving. So what happens is, don't ever do ab crunches before you do a bench press. You will actually lose a massive amount of strength. And now let's have a discover of what happens if you don't contract your abs very well or if you don't have a strong core when doing a bench press. What you'll tend to notice is that the rib cage gets really lifted. People really want to arc their back trying to get stronger. The only reason why this occurs and the only reason why you get stronger is yes, I do understand that that angle creates a higher recruitment of your um, lower pectoralis major. Um, it creates more of a decline press to target that muscle more efficiently. But it's um, allowing your abs to release because they're just not strong enough to hold on to your rib cage. If your core is really strong, then when your body produces force, your abs and your core should hold on to that rib cage really strong, really powerfully. So when that pec produces force, it's not going to lose energy by moving the rib cage. It's going to use all its force to be able to pull on one side, knowing that that muscle is secure because the other bone is being held strong tight through your abs. So you want to make sure that you exhale first, make sure that your core is really strong, suck your abs in, so when your body produces force, uh, that fixator muscle can do its job and hold onto the sternum, allowing your chest to pull your humerus.